National Defence College NDC was established in 1999 at Mirpur, Dhaka inside the Mirpur cantonment that is also known as the village of knowledge. Within the area, other prestigious institutions like Defence Service Command and Staff College, Military Institution of Science and Technology and the Bangladesh University of Professionals are located. The foundation stone was laid by the Honourable Prime Minister of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, Sheikh Hasina, on 10th January 1998. NDC was designed to develop capacity of senior military and civil officers in terms of larger perspective of national security, geopolitics and relevant strategic imperatives. At the beginning, a team of three British military advisors assisted in developing the curriculum of the college. Till 2010, NDC has completed 11 national defence courses where 365 senior armed forces and civil service officers have graduated. Among them, 96 graduates were from different friendly countries. Beside the regular defence course, NDC offers Armed Forces War Course, also known as AFWC, for mid-ranking armed force officers. Duration of this course is about 44 weeks. Another two-week course has been offered since 2010 for the policy makers. This is known as the capstone course. The college emblem signifies a Pradeep on a coloured background with a motto underneath. The Pradeep symbolises knowledge and the coloured background represents the colours of the armed force that sponsors the college. The motto of the college is security through knowledge, that means Gani Nirapotta. The governing body is the highest policy-making body of National Defence College. All members of the body sit at least once a year to review the policy directives. The Honourable Prime Minister is the Chairman of the Governing Body and the Senior Advisor to the Honourable Prime Minister is the Senior Vice Chairman. The National Defence College is dedicated to be the premier national centre of excellence on security, strategy and development studies. NDC's assigned missions are to educate and train selected armed forces and civil services officers at operational and strategic levels of national security and development, to focus on the long-term national security and development issues and suggest appropriate national response, to support the national agencies in policy making on matters relating to the security and development, to support the armed forces on strategic and operational levels planning of warfare, to strengthen civil-military relations, to strengthen military military cooperation in the region and beyond. There are five primary objectives supporting the aim of the National Defence Course. These are to increase members' knowledge of high-level defence and national security issues, to increase members' understanding on Bangladesh institutions and society, to increase members' understanding on Bangladesh institutions and society, to develop members' strategic vision, to improve members' personal qualities, individual and interpersonal. This is the college organogram. It has a command and secretariat and four wings, namely National Defence Course Wing, Armed Forces War Course Wing, Headquarters Wing and Research and Academic Wing. The commandant of the college is a Major General or Lieutenant General from the Bangladesh Army. The courses are conducted by eminent resource persons. The pool includes ministers, diplomats and experts hired from the academicians, private sector, scientists, journalists, technocrats and senior officers from the government. The college also arranges opportunity lectures by the distinguished scholars and members of the various delegations visiting Bangladesh. In the NDC, participants from abroad in Bangladesh join in together. Usually, the senior officers with the rank of Brigadier General or equivalent from Combined Armed Forces and Civil Officers participate in the courses. From the Bangladesh Civil Services, their counterparts join in the course. The participants bring together considerable depths of experience and knowledge to add value to the course. Usually, the senior officers with the rank of Brigadier General or equivalent from Combined Armed Forces and Civil Officers participate in the courses. Participants from other countries' military officers with similar ranks also join in. National Defence Course comprises four studies spreading over 47 weeks. The study ranges from national to international issues. The course offers a blend of academic study and debate, where the course members develop their strategic vision through in-depth individual studies, 
intellectual discourses, researches and works on policy and strategy formulation. Presently, NDC can accommodate about 50 military and civil officers of the rank of Brigadier General and equivalent. Till date, a total of 311 course members including 80 civil service officers and 76 overseas officers have been graduated from this college. In 2010, a total of 46 course members are attending National Defence course, which includes 16 officers from Bangladesh Armed Forces, 10 officers from Bangladesh Civil Services including a DIG of Police, and 20 Overseas Armed Forces officers from 13 allied countries. NDC course participants have to do an individual research paper followed by a presentation. Individuals have liberty to choose their own topic. This is an important part of the whole course. Participants are also required to take part in seminars and combined research group. The groups work on the selected topics. These research works are aimed at contributing innovative ideas and policy options on national and international issues. Besides the usual courses, the participants have to go through different interesting sessions such as art of negotiation, exercise roadmap, etc. To broaden the learning horizon, tours and visits are arranged for the participants. This is an integral part of the curriculum. These are intended to explore the significant features of Bangladesh. Visits include tour of the National Parliament, Supreme Court, Stock Exchange, research organizations, industries, NGOs and relevant civil and military organizations. Internal study tours are arranged for course members to enable them in socio-political, economic, religious and cultural aspects of the nation. Visits are made to both public and private sectors to gain an insight of the country. To understand the challenges of these institutions and organizations, course members meet different representatives from respective organizations. The two-week overseas study tour includes visits to both developing and developed countries. The aim of these tours is to experience the social, political, economical and military systems of those countries. The course members meet high-ranking civil and military officers and visit government, military and industrial establishments to exchange views and opinions. The visits also promote good relations between those countries and Bangladesh.
Armed Forces War Course, also known as the AFWC, is a classified course for 44 weeks designed to train selected officers of Bangladesh Armed Forces to undertake higher command and staff responsibilities. The training is imparted in a joint environment to enhance the professional expertise of the participating officers in planning and execution of campaigns and major operations. They are also exposed to the socio-economic development issues of Bangladesh in order to examine the role of armed forces in achieving the national objectives. The AFWC wing is headed by the Chief Instructor of the rank of Brigadier General, four directing staff of the rank of Colonel and equivalent from three services is dedicated for the course. The participants are usually with the rank of Lieutenant Colonels and equivalents from three services. The capstone course on National Security and Strategic Studies is designed to impart advanced knowledge, skills and networks related to multilateral security cooperation in Bangladesh among senior law and policy makers, security practitioners, judges, executives, media eminence, civil society representatives and other distinguished personalities of the society. This course provides a platform to enhance individual leadership skills in critical thinking process, communication, cooperation, collaboration and decision-making in complex security environment. This course is of two weeks duration and taken once a year. The Library of NDC is rich with numerous books and facilities. This is the nerve centre of all the college studies and plays an important role in promoting academic excellence of its members. The Library subscribes to many national and international journals, magazines and the world's major daily newspapers. The Library also has a reports and pamphlets section where the latest reports published by various ministries and departments of the government can be found. The College IT Centre provides course members with modern facilities. These facilities help them to prepare for different course-related assignments and research. The college has a full-time internet access and covered by LAN. A beautifully designed tea bar is located on the fourth floor of the college building. The ambiance and amenities creates a relaxing environment for the course members. After days of classes and courseworks, members spend their leisure time here. There is a medical centre run by two resident doctors, a staff surgeon and a lady doctor. Essential pathological SA are available besides ECG facility. DSCSC Transport ply on a regular basis to Dhaka CMH for their convenience. The college houses and offers a host of amenities and other facilities for the families. Torch Kindergarten near the college premises is an excellent elementary school having four classes from play group to standard one. For the higher classes, college provides transport facilities towards the Dhaka cantonment area. A number of publications are regularly brought out from NDC. The NDC Journal is a compilation of selected research works of both NDC and AFWC course members. A policy paper is also published as a prece of the work carried out by the Combined Study Group of NDC. Pradeep, a pictorial yearbook, is also published every year. NDC course members can access DSCSC Sporting Complex which provides facilities for football, volleyball, basketball, tennis and squash. The gymnasium is available for both ladies and gents. The complex has a decent swimming pool that is a popular place for sports and recreation. NDC course members stay at apartments provided by the authority. These residential apartments are located inside Mirpur Cantonment and Nam Apartment at Mirpur 13. Grocery shops are available within the residential areas. NDC has other facilities like auditorium with a state-of-the-art video conferencing facility, lecture hall, syndicate rooms, website, photocopy and binding room, prayer room, training store, parking area, central mosque, bank and boat club. NDC is keen on having a good social life. Thus, often, on many occasions, 
different social events are organized. The celebration of the Bengali New Year, different day observations, the annual picnic, overseas night, ice breaking dinner, boat trip, local area visit are some of the events. These events include the family members and their active participation in cultural and fun activities. NDC members have the opportunity to avail the sports complex facilities of Atchison Defence Service Command and Staff College. NDC organises different sporting competition amongst the NDC and AFWC course members such as golf, tennis, cricket, etc. Every year, NDC organizes a get-together of all courses alumni in a form of reunion. A graduation dinner is arranged before the graduation ceremony. In this dinner, different armed forces, senior officials and eminent civil dignitaries are invited. This is indeed a farewell dinner to the course members. The graduation day marks the culmination of a long duration of courses. Student officers with their ladies beside them take their seats in this Mirpur Hall. The chief guest gives away the certificates among the graduating course members. This is also a celebration day for the course members and undoubtedly they leave with a memorable experience. <laughs>